So I've been having a little bit of problems with my audio, so the last few videos kind of sound like dog shit. Sorry about that. Um, but maybe I'll try and fix them later, I don't know. But anyway, let's do this problem, right? So given the origin base vector A equals I, 3, J, K, what is the angle between A and the x-axis? All right, quite a problem we got on our hands, guys. How are we gonna fix it? How are we gonna solve it? Well, the first thing we can do is realize that it wants the angle between A and the x-axis, but it's basically saying it wants the angle between two vectors because the x-axis is just a vector. It's just a vector, that's all it is, you know? So we have an equation for that. You can uh, use this equation right here. It's called this cos inverse cosine A dot B is uh, magnitude A times magnitude B. When where a and b are just two arbitrary vectors, so we have one vector. Well, now we just need to know what the vector is of the x-axis. So the vector of the x-axis, we'll call it. I'll label it like this. X hat. And this should be in. Yeah, you can put a hats there. No good vectors. Would just be. This would be one i hat plus zero j hat plus zero k hat. And I will uh, draw this real quick just to show you guys what I'm talking about. X, uh, this is Z, this would be Y. Our, um, this. Our A can be some vector, let's just say it's in this direction. I'm not really measuring there. And our X would be directly in the X. So you can see that A has a component of Z, maybe it goes like that. And it has a component of X, maybe something like that, and it has a component of Y. Um, maybe it's a negative y, it goes, you know, something like that. And um, our x has no component of z, no component of y, and only has a component of x. So we know that it's a 1 in the i hat direction, 0, j, 0, k. All right, so now we have our a vector and we have our x vector. Let's uh, do some shit. So a dotted with x would be you take each element you multiply the um, the vector elements vector components and then you add them all so one times one plus zero times three just this zero times three times zero plus zero times k zero times one k that's going to be equal to 1, that's 0, that's 0, equal to 1. Now we find magnitude of A, well that's going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared, that's just this, let me zoom out a little bit, plus 3 squared plus 1 squared, that's going to equal 1 plus 9 plus 1 is equal to root 11. Now magnitude of B, or uh, sorry, I called it X in this case. That's going to be 1 squared plus 0 squared plus 0 squared. And that's going to be equal to root 1, which is equal to 1. Now we put it all together with this uh, equation here. Theta is equal to inverse cosine of a dot x one over magnitude a, which is root eleven times one, and then that will give you an angle of roughly seventy three, seventy two degrees. There you go.